It's Wednesday! Woo! Buddy. Buddy. So essentially, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday of the Renaissance. And that means I've read some books. So on Tuesday, and you know, I finished Warp by Ian Culfer, The Reluctant Assassin. I did finish this Tuesday night like I was supposed to. Good and right on like 11.30 when I then crawled tiredly into bed. But it was really good. I think I gave it four stars on Goodreads. 4.5 maybe? No, four. Um, the characters took a while to develop enough so that they were actually lifting off the page. Not just a bit flat. But once that happened, this book was really good. And so good. I just, I'm excited for the sequel. So I'm going to say, I'll talk about it later in the month, I'm sure, and give a proper Majigo when I do my, it's June, when I do my June wrap up. Oh, I'm talking so loud. But it's later at night than it should be. And oh, so that was Tuesday. Then this morning, I picked up this, which is the Chronicles of the Imaginarium Geographic of the First Dragon by James A. Owen. Oh, I'm talking so fast. The First Dragon by James A. Owen, which is the seventh and final book in the Chronicles of the Imaginarium Geographica series. I finished this by like four in the afternoon. It was it's kind of shorter than the rest in the series. Um, it was really good. So much character development, so many plot twists that I did not see coming. And all in all was like the perfect end to a perfect, perfect series. Again, I'll be talking about this in my wrap up. But oh my god, so good. So I finished that at like four. So then at like four, I made the executive decision that starting my Thursday book's not cheating, right? But I didn't get much done, of course. Um, I'm... Now, 15 pages, and it should probably be a bit more before tomorrow, into Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. This is the biggest book on my TBR for the week and the readathon. Um, so I think it's okay that I started early, just because I'm not going to get it finished in a day, essentially. It's not going to happen. Um, it'll be a miracle. Plus, I have a lunch date planned for tomorrow, so it's not going to happen. But anyway, I'm now, like... 15 pages in and it's like 10 o'clock at night so I may get a little bit more in before I go to bed but not much and then hopefully this will be maybe done tomorrow on its designated day otherwise I will finish it after I read my Friday book which is really short so I should hopefully get it done by like earlier than I got this piece done so then if that's the case we can finish this and then also move on to Saturday's book because Saturday and Sunday I'm working so if I can like them into a smaller period of time that would be really handy so I don't call it cheating because it's still within the constraints of the readathon I did have a little bit of a moral dilemma and battled with it for like 10 minutes <laughs> but my mum decided it wasn't cheating my friend decided it wasn't cheating, so I went for it, and I started reading it, but I haven't read much, so it's definitely not cheating, so, because I did go out for dinner, so, this, this is in the works now, and that's essentially Wednesday, the readathon is now three sevenths over, see what I did there, yeah, and I'm excited, to finish this, oh, I'm not excited to finish. I'm excited to do these last four days of the readathon because this has been really fun so far. I've enjoyed reading a book a day, and I know I normally read like a book every two days, but I'm enjoying pushing myself to make sure I set aside the time to finish a book in a day. And I like the whole week I've been playing this ridiculous game on the iPad at the same time, so I don't know how I'm doing it. It's magic, magic people. I'm just magic. <laughs> No, I, I honestly, I think I don't, I haven't done anything with my days except read and play Empire Four Kingdoms. So, <laughs> ah, the joy of being me on holidays. So, yeah, I will not be able to keep up this reading habit once, or this Empire Four Kingdoms habit once Uni goes back, but we'll see where it happens. So, yeah.
Now I'm reading Gone Girl, and I'm going to go back and read Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn and have fun with it while playing Empire Four Kingdom. And I will talk to you tomorrow on my Thursday update. Bye!